I know my hair is looking crazy like 89% of the time, but um, whatever. <laughs> So a little over a year ago in November, I tore my ACL for the second time in my life. I actually made a video about it. I think that was my first video of this year or maybe it was my last video of last year. I don't remember. So I tore my ACL and then I had surgery to repair it in February. And if you've ever had a knee injury or torn your ACL in particular, then you know how difficult and strenuous the recovery time is. So to have gone through that a second time, it was even harder. And I knew that it was going to be harder because my doctor told me, he said, when you tear your ACL a second time, recovery is longer, recovery is harder. So I have been in physical therapy since February and I just had my last physical therapy session for now. We'll see what my doctor says, but I've literally been in physical therapy at least twice a month for this entire year. It feels strange that I am not going to be doing that on a regular basis anymore especially because I actually really enjoyed my physical therapy office and I loved all the people that work there but it feels really cool and it feels really good to know that I have almost fully recovered now my goal is to just make my knee even stronger and make sure that I never tear my ACL again because I already don't feel like it'll ever be the same and if I tear it again I just should just cut my leg off obviously that's very dramatic but I really don't want to tear my ACL again so the first First time I tore it, I was in high school and I was playing lacrosse. I was playing defense on this girl and my foot got stuck in a hole because we were playing on a field that was just like not very well kept. And I just remember hearing a pop and I was just like, well, that's not good. And I like immediately screamed because I had never experienced pain like that in my life before. I just remember the girl that I was playing defense against being like, are you okay? Just super calm. But yeah, that was such a long time ago. It feels like uh, when I think about high school, it feels like I was dreaming the entire time. The second time when I did it last year, I was actually in Big Bear. I wish this was as cool as me playing lacrosse because it makes me seem very athletic, but I actually was just getting into the shower and there was a shower mat in there and I slipped on it. I felt a pop, knew it was not good. The funny thing is that I was literally in physical therapy like right before that because I went to my doctor and I was like, I just don't feel like I ever really recovered from the first time that I tore my ACL. So I was literally in the midst of physical therapy for my first ACL tear, just trying to strengthen my knee. And then I tore my ACL again. My life has been riddled with knee problems for the last couple of years and I might as well just be 87 years old. But yeah, I feel really excited. I feel good because I always think about like at the beginning of the year, I couldn't even walk. Skylar had to help me go to the bathroom. Skylar had to help me shower. I couldn't do anything on my own. It was just very difficult. So I've essentially been in court quarantine like a month longer than everyone else because in February after my surgery I really couldn't go anywhere so yeah I have literally been in my house all year <laughs> but I'm really grateful to just have what I feel like is a healthier knee now all I have to do now is make sure that I'm maintaining the strength my knee has and just improving it as well but it's exciting I actually just got home from physical therapy and today we're just packing and getting ready to go up to Big Bear to tomorrow night yeah hopefully it won't be too crazy i don't think it will i'm just super excited to be somewhere else even though i'll pretty much be doing the same things i would be at home it'll be nice just to be in a different setting you know what i mean i'm doing another unboxing i got another black friday package today i bought a few things just a few on black friday because everything was on sale so why not but as you guys saw i got some stuff from oma beauty and i also got stuff from coco kind which if you saw my current favorites vlog, then you know I really like Coco Kind. So I decided to get some new products. They had like a 20% off sale. I repurchased some stuff because I was running low. So I'll start with that stuff. This is the Coco Kind. Coco Kind is just kind of fun to say. Coco Kind. Coco Kind. Coco Kind. <laughs> so this is their facial cleansing oil, which I've already purchased and I used it all up and it is awesome. I double cleanse my face as part of my nighttime skincare routine. And this is always what I use just to do the first cleanse. Like I said, I've already used it. I really like it. And the next one is their daily SPF. It's pretty affordable as far as like a nice SPF goes. So this is what it looks like. 
and yeah i really like this it doesn't feel too heavy it doesn't have a weird smell to it i like this because it's really lightweight okay so so these next few things that i got are new items that i got to try and the first one is this raspberry vinegar toner and i haven't used a toner in a while because i honestly ran out and then i just like didn't want to use one anymore and i don't really know if i like miss it or not i don't feel like i do since i like haven't noticed a huge difference. I didn't think it would hurt to like try a new one. Oh, it definitely smells exactly like raspberry and vinegar. It says post cleansing solution for balanced and even skin. I actually really like the smell of this. Is that weird? So the next thing I got was like a duo. I bought these like in a pack, like in a deal, in a bundle. Bundle was the word I was looking for. So this is the Glow Essence with Sea Grape Caviar and then Vitamin C Serum with Sea Grape Caviar. I have never tried anything with Sea Grape Caviar in it, but it sounds really fancy. So I'm excited to try it. I have tried Vitamin C's before and I never know, really know how I feel about them. One of the serums I use has like a little bit of Vitamin C in it. Oh, I don't know if I like the way that's. <laughs> vitamin C is supposed to help with hyperpigmentation, which I have quite a bit of. And I have like a lot of acne scarring and I always pick up my um, breakouts. So not really a recipe for success when it comes to having clear skin. So I'm excited to try this. You guys, I just like really, really like their packaging. I just think it's so cute. Like this is like... This is like a little glass bottle. This is not sponsored because I have like two subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> like look at how cute these colors are together, okay? Cute! Anyway, another thing that I got that I've never tried before is this essence. I've never tried an essence before because as far as I know, most of them are very expensive. And I know it's like a huge like Korean beauty skincare item. The one that I like first knew of was the SK2 one, which I think is like two hundred dollars and I'm not gonna buy that <laughs> so yeah this is what this looks like again so cute i'm gonna smell it because obviously that smells like skincare i don't know skincare has like a certain smell to it you know what i mean is that just me so essence is supposed to help products seep into your skin better so the final thing that i got i'm super excited about this is the resurfacing sleep mask it comes with a little tiny spatula. Let her have her moment. So this is overnight mask with plant-derived retinol art alternative. I didn't even know this was like a retinol alternative, but that's nice to know. I'm excited to use this. Okay, so that is all the products that I got from Coco Kind. I'm not really doing anything for the rest of the evening besides packing and getting ready to go to Big Bear tomorrow. So um, I'm gonna end my vlog here i never know how to end these i always feel extremely awkward when i end my vlogs i don't know if you can tell i mean i'm normally just a very awkward person but yeah bye <laughs>